hello guys welcome back to the channel i am very excited to share with you guys this awesome storage bin uh, rack uh, i saw it online and i thought i'd give it a try because it was definitely needed this room where it's currently at was a big mess it's basically our storage room and we when we moved in about a little over a year ago we just kind of threw the excess stuff in here and it was very overwhelming and uh yeah intimidating but we bite the bullet and uh, we decided to clean it out and went through all our stuff and i decided to go with this system and i would definitely recommend you guys to uh, at least consider doing it if you have storage problems or you need a solution it is very simple straightforward super easy to do it definitely cleaned up this whole room and everything is neatly ordered we got our labels on and i'm going to show you guys step by step how i did it and then you guys can just copy and paste and build your own any way you like it so let's get to it okay guys so the first step is going to be to measure out the amount of bins you can put in the space that you're planning to have your storage location so as you guys can see here i laid out five bins i used the lids because that is like the biggest uh, part of the bins and that's how i'm going to get my measurements so my bins measured uh 20 and a half inches wide lid from side to side and I, as you guys can see, I mark where my studs is going to be. And I left about a quarter inch, just a little more than a quarter inch on each side. And that's how I'm going to lay out my studs. So if your bin um, is, for example, 17 inches, uh, I would give a little bit extra half inch on each side. That way, you know, you'll have enough space and it won't be like too tight. So as you guys can see, that's where my studs is going to be. And that's going to be the gaps in between my bins. And then the next step is going to be to decide how tall I'm going to make five bins. And that's going to be the ladders that you'll see where you're sliding in your bins in and out. So I just want to show you guys the measurement I have on my lid. So as you guys can see, it is just under 20 and a quarter. And so I made the distance from this stud to this studs 20 and a quarter and I added a half an inch. So I made it 20 and three quarters and that's gonna be inside the stud to the inside of that stud. And that's how I just keep going with it. So the inside of this stud is going to be 20 and three quarters, half an inch more than my lid inside to inside. I'm quickly gonna explain to you guys how far apart the bins is gonna be when you start stacking them upwards. So my bin is about 14 and a quarter inches. And then this little lip is just around two, two inches. So what I work with is uh, 15 inches uh, for per box size. And that'll roughly give me enough space uh, top and bottom to slide them in and out. So what I did with the wood was to make it easy is um, I mark my 15 line and then that two inch um, lip, basically this lip right here, this two inches. So 15 inches is for my box opening and then two inches back for that little lip. That is where I'm gonna put my plank where it's gonna slide on and then it's gonna have that two inches up. Okay, so I just basically kept working on that uh, box opening, kept it at 15. So I did 15 and then two inches where the lip is. And then, so that's where my, my cross brace is gonna be. So when you build that ladder, you kind of know. So I'm gonna take all the planks. I think I need about 12 planks and I'm just gonna mark them all. Okay, so now I'm gonna cut all the sliders. So to calculate how many sliders you would need, that's basically where your lid or your boxes are gonna slide on, is two per box. So if you have uh, 20 boxes, you're gonna need 40 um, pieces to slide on. Okay, so I'm actually gonna cut them 31, because if I do 32, I am just short of getting a whole 32 inches out of a 96 inch um, piece of wood if I trim the edges square. So I'm gonna do 31 and then I get three full pieces out of one eight foot two by four. So I'm gonna have five by five, 25 boxes. So I need to cut 50 pieces. So uh, might take a minute, but uh, let's do it.
Okay guys, so we are ready to start building our framing for our storage bins. So I got all my wood laid out, as you guys can see it's marked. I got uh, treated wood and then regular wood, two 10 foot pieces. Um, that's gonna be my footer and my header. And then these are gonna be all my studs. So I got four studs separate. That's gonna be the outside studs as they would only get one slider on each side because they're outside. And that's gonna be my sliders. I mean, I just refer to it as sliders. I'm not sure if you wanna call it that, but I think you guys know that's where the bins are gonna slide on. Um, so I need another 25 of those. Uh, it started raining, so I couldn't finish it all. But for now, that is half of what I need. So it's a good, it's, it's more than enough for me to get started. So I'm gonna start framing it up over here and then basically just lift it up. So I'm gonna frame it on the floor and then just lift it up to the wall. Okay guys, so I'm ready. As you guys can see, I lay out the basic of the framing. I am going to use a framing nailer just because I have it and it'll be a lot quicker um, and a little bit easier. However, if you want to use screws, I would uh, definitely not say it's a bad thing. Um, definitely make sure to pre-drill holes, especially on the ends, you make sure the wood don't crack as you screw them in. But with the nails, I think we should be good. So I'm going to start nailing in these uh, toe ends and then put my top plate on and then lift this wall all the way up and let's see what we get. As you guys can see, it's as easy as that. So the first one is in and now I'm just going to basically redo this again. So we have two pieces like this and then just join it with all the sliders, anchor it down and that's it. The reason why I'm using uh, treated wood at the bottom is because it sits on concrete and that's just a smart thing to do because there's, you can always expect some, some form of moisture uh, when it comes to concrete, especially this outdoor building, which is a shed. It's not completely insulated like your house would be. And that's the reason why I just uh, went with the treated wood instead of just a regular wood. So it would stand the elements a little bit better. On to the next. I'm gonna move it away and then start building the next one. So now I'm gonna flip this up, pull this in and then join it. I am going to put one of these sliders on. The reason for that is when I pick everything up, it is gonna be top heavy, I want to fall over. So I'm just gonna nail one board in place, connect it to the other frame, just so it don't uh, fall over while I do all the rest. Like you, like you guys see, this wants to fall over and I wanna push it as close to the corner as possible. So uh, I'm gonna have to connect them to prevent that from happening. Okay, so that's one side and I'm gonna connect one on this side. That way we know we kind of lined up. Now it's time to get in all these sliders. Well, I, I'm just gonna keep referring to the sliders. You don't necessarily have to use a two by four. I think a two by two would be more than sufficient. That's just what I decided to go with and it makes it easier than uh, ripping up wood. You could save probably half your material cost. Um, however, for this frame, I would say all the material, all the two by fours, including the treated, was like $150, maybe $180 with nails and like all the other small things. But yeah, it's really a cost effective way of improving your storage system. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up. I just wanna show you guys the fitment before I uh, putting all the sliders. I would recommend test your first box first. Um, it'll save you a headache later if you miscalculated something. However, we are doing good on this uh, measurement over here. So as you guys can see, there's a, probably a half inch to an inch gap at the bottom, and then our sides to have a little bit of wiggle room. I'm happy with it. So i uh, gonna keep on moving and uh, get this bad boy finished. Okay, so as you guys can see, we are halfway there. Um, it actually looks like a bin uh, storage unit. 
Um, so I still gotta cut about 25 more of these slider pieces. So I'm quickly gonna cut it and knock it out. Okay guys, so we got it all finished up. The only thing I need to add in is a little bit of bracing and I am going to secure it down to the concrete. Uh, as you guys can see, it is a little bit flimsy. That's just the way it is because there is no cross bracing, but I'm gonna try to support it in the back there. And, and I'm also gonna try to uh, secure it to the wall on this side where I'm able to do that. And then so some uh, concrete floor anchors and then the center block anchors and I think we should be good. I am later on going to put a wooden board, like a plywood on top, so we have extra storage on top of it. Um, but for the most part, we're pretty much done. I'll show you guys uh, the finishing touches and uh, let's wrap it up. If you guys wanna completely copy this project, I'm gonna go over the measurements that I used. So I got my boxes or my bins from Lowe's and the measurements on them are 30.6 inches by 20.6 inches by 14.3 inches. Do make sure that the measurements are the same, otherwise it might not work out. Let me show you guys the measurements for the rack. Okay guys, so the first measurement for the sliders is gonna be 31 inches. That's gonna be the depth of your racks. Um, and remember, you will need two sliders per bend. So if you decide to do 10 bends, you will need 20 sliders. So for the second measurement, it's gonna be for the header and the footer. Uh, mine came out to 112 and 7 eighths, or you can just round it off to 113, and you will need four of those. Last but not least is gonna be the studs. My studs came out to 78 inches, and I built mine five by five, so it's five columns with five rows and I needed 12 of those. So that's gonna be depending on how many bins you want to have in your storage system. Okay guys, that's gonna be a wrap for this video. I hope uh, this video helped somebody out there to build their own uh, storage unit. Um, it is super simple, anybody can do it. You can literally go to Home Depot or Lowe's and have all these pieces pre-cut, it's three sizes. And if you have a screwdriver, you can literally just screw these things together. You don't have to have all the big tools. Um, so it's a very simple project and I really hope somebody gets something out of this, some value. So with that being said, I just wanna thank each and every one of you uh, for the love and support. If you guys have any uh, comments or ideas on what you would do different or tips, please drop your comments down below. Really appreciate the feedback and then in the next video I am going to be addressing some plumbing and installing a water filter system for our whole house because we are on well water. So if you are on well water and want to see how I do a water filter system, please consider subscribing, liking this video if it was any value to you. Um, so with all that being said, goodbye. Okay, I'm quickly going to explain to you guys how I got the height of the bins, how, how Now it's time to get in all these uh, sliding. Anybody can do it. You can go to home. Or... It almost looks like a storage bin container at this moment. Storage bin container.